<laughs> that's that's actually a good. It's good comedy. It's PMS. P- oh, it is PMS. <laughs> right. You didn't even see that when you saw it. No. I didn't know. I don't know how you. Uh, PMS, dude. Professional mixer. You must have some PTSD. Yeah. Well, I guess some PMS too. <laughs> Whatever you need. I got a bunch of different acronyms. ADHD. Uh, give it a sec. Yo, Chad, are we live? One sec. It doesn't say I'm live on my phone. Yeah, clearly we're live. I just don't know why. He got a lot of hair. Yeah, tell like two. I remember when I used to have hair like him. It's a four legs. Fuck. You had long ass hair. Hold on, let me pull up. Let me pull up a pic. Let me see. Let me show you. I like showing you because like the four room for me. I'm a real boy. All right. Let me grab this. Just like yeah. If I let a girl like him, yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. So, uh, yeah, let's go upstairs while we wait for Moises to finish showering. He said 10 minutes, so he should be almost done. I parked right by that car out there. Is that cool? Oh, yeah, it's yeah, good. You drove here? Yeah. Yeah, you should wait. Which car? What are you talking about? Silver Honda. Like, there's some red car? Is that? That's Moises. I just parked next to this. Oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. What's the puppy's name again? Uh, Snoopy. Oh, my camera's not. I might have to get plug another camera in chat. Let me go find another camera. This is uh, our girl Grimoire. But yeah, let me go plug another camera in just in case this one dies because it's kind of low battery. Because I didn't fucking. I just. I passed out. Chat. I passed out as soon as I. As soon as I turned the stream off last night, I, just, I fucking passed out, dude. Um, I'm not gonna lie. So. Grimoire got banned? What, a mixer? No way, dude. Can you give me the cameras? She got banned on YouTube? Yo. Tell Grimoire to come over to the mixer. Or I guess fucking, I mean, she's on DLive, so it doesn't matter, but. Yo, can I have my cameras? Yeah, in the, in the, in the suitcase. DLive sucks, bro. D lives. I don't know. I don't. I mean, I wouldn't say it sucks, but it's just you know. I don't think. I don't know, bro. I would be too scared to stream on D live, homie. I'm gonna be real with you. I think that has no backing from a large company. Turn what, dude? All right. Yeah, just give me all the cameras. There you go. Oh God. All right. Cameras for days. All right. One sec. Let's see. Which one has battery? Nope. Nope. Damn. All right. Neither of, none of them have batteries. Okay. Well, <laughs> the camera that I'm currently streaming with better uh, not die. <laughs> I guess we'll uh, we'll say it, we'll put it like that, huh? I know I have one more somewhere. Maybe that one has battery. Let me see. Oh yeah, wait. I can put a whole new battery in. Okay, one sec. I'm prepared, Chad. I have just, I have batteries for days, dude. It's fucking ridiculous. Okay. I 
had it so, uh, since yeah. Christmas. What the fuck? Oh, there you go. Perfect. It has just enough battery. One second, guys. Let me switch the cameras. Lefty Lucy, righty tidy. Perfect. Yo, what's up chat? We good? Is it saved? Saved, alright, good. This one, there you go. The motherfucking cable got caught on uh, on the fucking shelf, dude. So we're good now. Got caught on the damn shelf, but alrighty, we're good. I don't have a way to charge the old ones. I only have a way to charge one at a time, and I'm currently using it to charge. All right, bro. What the fuck are you doing? I am fucking rushing. It takes a little bit longer when you got longer hair. Bro. I iron my shirt, and we are good to go. Are you really? Ironing your fucking clothes. Just a shirt, bro. If we go out, you're on the. F you're doing it, on bro. Come I here, Moises. You know why you fucked up? What? Come smell right here. Yeah. Oh shit. You know how many times does dog pee on the floor? Come here. Huh? Smell right there. This is prime real estate for his fucking piss. Yeah, it smells. It smells like old, like old, like it. It smells like something smelled like vomit and shit. It was clean multiple times, but still smells like shit. Yeah. So you're ironing your clean clothes on the fucking piss floor that the dog fucking pees on because he's a fucking asshole. But the Why do you need to iron your shirt? We're going bro, to go to a hookah bar with four dudes. Bro, uh, if, unless we're going to go to a hookah bar where it's just straight guys, I'm assuming there's going to be fucking, there's going to be other people there. It's just not going to be us. I'm not going to go out looking fucking homeless, bro. Look at me, bro. What does it matter? Huh? What does it matter, dude? Bro, Look at me, dog. Again, there's a difference between me and you. What? Our checkings and savings accounts are different. Let's just say that. I'm not gonna say anything more. What does that matter? Uh, you think people I'm who just, look? You think people who look at us know the difference? I'm just saying there's a big difference between checkings and savings, and I'm not gonna go in any more detail because. I'm all, I'm done. I am done. I am fucking done. But they don't know. They don't know that. <laughs> I mean, the, like a random girl. They don't know that. I mean, Google, Google who I supposed. They don't know is. my name. No, but unless I, I mean, tell them. No, but Google I, Moises fucking B, dude. Fucking yeah. autism commercial and shit, yeah. dude. What was that one thing where you're like in a fucking cook apron and you're running through the desert? What is that? Oh, so Heisenberg. So like Breaking Bad, Walter White, like literally. He's in underwear, he's in an apron, he has a gun. Is this like a... Uh, Walter White, Breaking Bad. Yeah, is this like a photo shoot or something? Yeah, yeah, Brian Cranston, so it was a reenactment. I thought you were playing a fucking, like, Little Red Riding Hood. No. Behind the scenes, guess who took the pictures? Gary. Gary. Bro, of course Gary fucking did but it. But the thing is, ask me what was under the apron. Nothing. Tidy whities Bruh, not even nothing. Come on, dog. Bro. Why not even nothing? Bro, Tidy White, he, he's the one that helped me spray paint the fake gun. Spray painted the apron green, and I just had Tidy whities on, and I'm running through the desert at full speed. You can see it. It's all over my Instagram. <laughs> Fuck it, dude. All right, yo. Let's fucking skedaddle, dude. Why is everyone... 
I don't know. Yo, fucking... Let's go, dude. Mother, that's crazy, dude. Just use a real gun? Yeah, sure. Well, he's in California. He couldn't. <laughs> no, no, you're crazy. In you California, can't get a real gun, bro. No, you can't. All right, let me get this. Let me get that. I watched the clip for the very first time where you were behind the fucking car, like, following the RV. For real? And you were falling asleep. Uh, bro, it... Bruh. <laughs> Yo, you gotta be careful, I dog. Drove, I, ho I hope that's not how it was when you drove here. I, I was just about to say that, bro. I drove from LA to Texas, twenty three hours and thirty minutes straight. I need four monsters. I would say six scoops of pre workout and two iced coffees. I fucking died nearly five times, but I made it without paying for the hotel. But is it worth your life? But did I die though? I mean, if you tell me about you almost you die died, how did you almost die six times? Did you fall asleep? Yeah, and when not, I did not fall asleep. Bruh. When I went like this and I wake up, the sun right in front of me. So, boom, hit the fucking brakes or. Bruh, don't ever drive to my house again. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. He's gonna kill. He's gonna kill somebody. Like actually. All right. So, whose car are we taking? Sorry, chat. I uh, so I just, I, I just put the new battery in the old camera because the new camera that I was using, the HDMI port, was broken. Everything's fucking broken that I have, apparently. I don't know. It's mainly all the HDMI ports are, honestly, because it's so easy to fucking break them. Come on, Moises, let's go. What are you guys talking about? I'm talking about big ass trucks. Oh hell yeah, dude! Why do you have three cameras? You never, you just never. I don't know, bro. You just buy them. I don't know. You just never know when you need cameras. All right, we're taking your car, Moises. Oh, can you drive? <laughs> what a surprise! Is that okay? Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's do it. Just get another camera, bro. I have like a hundred cameras. All righty, let's fucking do this. Uh, so, Lunar, are you excited? To uh, win uh, Big Brother? Yep. Do you actually, do you, what are the, uh, do you think you're gonna have a chance? Yes. Against people like Moises? Yes. Why? Because he can't freestyle. Because he can't, oh yeah, well. There's, there's one already. Do you so think. We can, we can keep racking them up. So you're, you know that you can and win the hearts and souls of people more. Well, I can, I can talk faster than him. Oh yeah! By the time he tries to say what he's trying to say, you could just say I just it. I an entire dissertation. He can't even get it out. Right? <laughs> so you just your strategy. Just don't even let him talk. Well, the more I talk, the, the less he can. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> that's fun. I will say. I don't know. You both are funny. You both are definitely funny. So it's going. It's going to be yeah, yeah. interesting. Great sense of humor. Well, you're, you're attractive. I'm pretty smart. I have a degree. I don't know if he has a degree, but I'm pretty. Oh yeah, you're. You used to be a fucking teacher. Yeah, so I'm That's right. Smart, so I'm pretty witty. Okay. That's right, yo. Actually, the fucking intelligence. It's a big thing. You probably have one up on a lot of people, including myself. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, so, okay, Taunty is winning, big brother, y'all wacky shit. Thank you, Kay, thanks, bro. No, I don't even know how, I don't even know most of the other guys that are going to be in it, so... I know Gary, hey, you'll, know Moises, I know yeah. you. He's going to be a bunch of wild card. The girl, Grimoire, we were just watching. Grimoire will be in it. She's pretty popular, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah she's pretty popular. Yeah, there's this one guy, Video Junkie. He's going to make pretty... sure she wins. Oh, okay, okay. He's going to... He's, he's gonna donate a bunch of fucking sparks and embers and money and Well that's basically what it is. Whoever gets the most embers or sparks is gonna No sparks. It. Whoever gets the most sparks gets a dub. Gets the yeah, gets the gets the money and it's, it's wins. It's gonna be a real tough one then. But like I said, I'm a lot of clout going into Honestly, it. Video Chunky will really fuck with you if you get with a, with a Grimoire. <laughs> and like uh like a friendship kind of way. Okay, I'll be friends with her, yeah. Yeah, like you gotta be friends, cause like, I'm friends with Grimoire and Video Junkie Eli, he's a good guy to me. He's a good guy. Care of you. Yeah, I'll be nice. I'm gonna be nice to everyone. I'm gonna be cordial to everybody. I'm not gonna be a dickhead to anybody. Just like when we met. I'm gonna be nice, I'll be funny. I'm a very competitive person. Yeah. I'm gonna be highly competitive with everybody. And that sometimes that comes off as not nice. <laughs> I'm be completely real with you. I mean, I'm not mean, but I'm just like I'm a win. You're serious about. I'm it. serious. Like yeah. when we we're have challenges, right? Yeah. You are you gonna make sure you win the challenges, or are you gonna go easy on them? Cause so, so like Moises could win. Yeah, I'm gonna try to win. I'm gonna try to win every challenge possible. Like if Moises says like, oh my fucking my fucking foot hurts, are you just gonna let him win? No. Exactly. All right. I kick him under down. Ex that's what I, okay. That's what I like to hear, bro. Competition is key. Yeah, it has to be. Well, what's, what's the fun of doing a competition if you're not fucking competitive? That's true. I mean, some people, they just, you know, they, I don't know, sympathy and shit. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, empathy, bro. Empathy. Shit, we all got to be sociopaths here. You got to show them who's boss. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding, dude. But, yo, what do you think, Stevie, from an outsider's perspective? I feel like I need to f figure out who's the lineup first, and I could probably, like, build out a bracket or something. I mean, everyone that, you, that he just said are the people that you would know. Everyone else, uh, you won't even know. I feel like Grimoire's gonna be crazy. She's gonna be like at least a, she's gonna give everybody a run for their money. What about Tracksuit sure. Andy? Dude, he's gonna, no, he's not I like Tracksuit. He's not in it though, he's not in it. He's not in it though, he's in college. I, I, I just, I feel bad for him because someone like Grim did, no one can keep up to Grim. She's just like a constant overload. I mean, if Grimoire's not doing something sexual, I think she's gonna lose. To be honest, nothing sexual. I mean, that's, uh, you know, she's a, she does, you know, she does the booty shakes and the fucking like fingers her pussy and like, you know, that's that's what she does on on her streams. And if she can't do that, I feel like what are you gonna, gonna she's gonna have a rough time. Are you gonna be like, no, no, don't do that. Like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna tell her not to do that. I'm gonna t I don't finger dude, yourself. Gonna... No finger, finger lunar. Don't finger yourself. <laughs> oh. Type show. What if a girl was trying to finger you? Was that would that be okay? Hey, if you, uh, if you see who Grimoire is, I, I I feel like you're gonna let her pay. Well, I, I've already I've already saw her. Um, Where the fuck is Moises? He has like purple hair. So yeah, right. yeah. Not really my bag. Oh, okay. I think you guys would be surprised. Like, if you okay. saw my girlfriend. She... She's like five nine, almost looks like a model. She's mixed. Like, she's like Dominican. Yeah, she's is it Moises? She's, she's black, white, and Thai. Black, white, and Thai. Yeah, so she's like the perfect caramel color. So like white girls, I'm kind of. How are you, mean. black, white, and Thai? You don't like yeah. pale girls? Not really. Pale girls are not really my thing. Uh, white, white girls, especially, and all these girls are like white. Like most of the streamer girls are white, and I'm kind of just like, eh, I mean, she's cute, but I wouldn't date her. Oh, so I like I like white girls. You and like girls. a little extra spice. Black girls, are, you'll see like Blasian a little, kind of girls. A little extra no, season. I like Japanese <laughs> girls, <laughs> Asian girls. No, no Asian girls. They gotta be a really small. Percentage. Cambodian girls are fire. Cambodian breast milk is fire. Yo, never. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I never had that. I caught him off guard. With that. <laughs> Yo, gang shit, bro. Milk. Have you ever had breast milk? I've had Cambodian breast milk. No, I'm kidding. I haven't. You've never had actual breast milk? I bet it's chunky though. No, I've tasted it. They sell it in they sell it in stores. Yeah, like and it's like a used to be a teacher, now he's not allowed ten miles. Used to be a teacher, now he's not allowed ten miles near schools. Who? Who? Him. What do you mean? Who do you think? Talking about him? Yeah, I don't know, dude. No. Talking about Mr. G or something. I don't know. I fucking quit. I didn't get fired. Yeah, no, he quit. He wants to be a rapper. Wait, you were actually a teacher? Yeah, for like two months. You oh, said you were a music cool. teacher. Yeah, music teacher for two months at a high school up in North Austin. And then like, oh, I that's... just quit after two months. It was shit pay and it was a terrible work environment. So oh. I was like, I'm But why don't, why don't you fuck with, uh, oh yeah, breast milk. Yeah, LA, motherfucking, it's dog shit. Why don't you fuck with Asian girls? Transformation complete. But it's, it's, a, it's an aesthetic thing. It's the look. Like, Come on, my dog. My girl's a, a quarter Asian, so she doesn't have... He doesn't like Asian girls. I'm, a, I'm opposite. I fucking love foreigns. Really? Yeah, Foreign. like full 100% Asian like. Taiwanese or 
Like, oh no! See the thing. See, is, see what I'm saying? I don't. I don't know. I haven't been there to know what's a hundred percent. I see. I probably see mixtures. Moises, and that's what I'm going by. Why are you always so late? Bro. You over here chapsticking yourself, bro. You, get, you put you were, a new shirt on, dog. Bro, when you were upstairs, my hair was down. You see me walk down the stairs. This takes at least four to five minutes. Dude, you just... I have to comb it out. This dude's trying to look good for, for us men. He thinks, he thinks we're going to go to the... It's stream not lagging. Chat, come on. We're going to the strip club. Yeah, we, we VIP everything out. I think, Moises, I really think you're just trying to come on to me or something, dude. No, no, trust Come me. Come on, bro. You always trying to look good for, trust like, me. a mean man I, and shit? No, trust me. Uh, a lot of things I sugarcoat because I'm really nice, but for a fact, I do not find you whatsoever attractive at all. You sugarcoat it? Hold on. You're a good-looking dude. What you mean you sugarcoat? Bro? I'm fucking with you. No, no way. You're fucking with me. I'm not a good-looking dude. See, Hold that's on. why I'll be with you. No, no I, I'm like this for a fact. I, I just don't find you. You're not. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Moises, on a real fucking note, how do I look? On a real fucking like, you're not an ugly dude. If you're just not my type at all. Bro, y'all, y'all gotta kiss now. Ice made me kiss him. Now y'all gotta kiss him. Oh nah, <laughs> you, he got you into that shit. Bro, got me into it. What, how can you resist? I lips? mean, nah, that's fucking. <laughs> wait, 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 boys, before we start driving. You look great. Close the garage. You look great. <laughs> I look great. Thank you. Split the wig. What's wrong with my looks? Ain't nothing wrong with your I'm looks. I'm ugly as fuck. You just said you're not gonna sugarcoat it. So let's hear it. I'm not into. Guys, whatsoever. Imagine having your music class canceled in high school so your hipster class teacher can make high a wiggity so your hipster teacher can make a wiggity song. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, I mean, <laughs> real shit, dog. What do you think What's about that? that? I, miss, I must have missed you, wiggity. We'll have to play it again. Wait, did you play the wiggity song in your as a teacher? No, this was years oh, after. Oh, you a music teacher. teacher? Yeah, I used to be a music teacher. Wait, play the wiggity song for Moises. I think they canceled, didn't they? Can well, I think in my in my high school mm -hmm. they canceled. I think music, or was it middle school? They like they canceled school, music. Yeah, my my school didn't have like they used that funding for like some other bullshit. But Let's I, do science. They, I don't like science. They right? took they took music out. No, and, they and used, didn't. And used that funding for something else. In Rhode Island. Yeah. Bro, how does your school, your school has, how's your school's got no money? It's Rhode Island. Yeah, I mean, well, In Florida, we had everything. I mean, Florida, they all, they, I think the legal I sex age is like big brother. 15 or so. What? what? Yeah. Hold on. What? Yeah. 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 When is Big Brother? I thought, the 20th or something? I thought Big Brother was 19th. Yo, this guy said that. Moises and Gary will be the first ones out of Big Brother. It's fucked up. Man. I mean, that person, who was it that said that? E.T. E. Pegged, pegged by Ice. Uh, E.T. Pegged by Ice. So some guy that got fucked by you. All right, so he's saying me and Gary. Don't even worry about it. Me Moises. and Gary are going to be the first ones out. And then you guys have to do a Hollywood handshake when you lose. I will say. Do you know what that is? Um, is? I'm going to answer the first part. So the first part. You that handshake cocks. That's what you should. <laughs> I, I, I thought I thought that's what you were insinuating. You want to but the show. <laughs> did you tell the other seven, eight people that are in there? Not yet. Oh, all right, so they don't know. They they just going by me, Gary Luna. That's yeah. it. We're, yeah, I mean, you're and maybe Stevie G. Stevie, you're gonna be in it, right? No, he's Are not. It? All right, here we already ha well, we already have all the ten people. Okay. All right. Uh, well, yeah, but well, yeah, well yeah, yeah, you're gonna help me with no, that. No, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's about taking you be there. All right. Yeah. I'll yeah, but there. well, like Stevie will be a good moderator. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, and, I mean, there's, there's, there's like, it's still up in the air. Turn that shit up, Moises. <laughs> oh, yeah, turn it away. Hold on, let me give you the directions I'm on your phone or my phone or just let me, let me see. Yeah, map. your phone. Yeah, yeah. Let me see the Making map. Making decisions, can we? Let me see the can map. We? Anybody got a phone? I'm playing mine. Oh, um, the GPS. Let me, let me see. I'm gonna map on your phone. I'll tell you where to go. All right. Yeah, the TCS is double because. It's funny, so I mean, donate and you get double the fucking TTS, dude. Let's see, so Kuka. I'll tell you which one. Let's see here. I'm, I'm kidding, obviously, just type in the name. No, no, that's a good way to do it. Yeah, I mean, it is. A, the, most of the time they're named by Hookah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, turn on the volume in case. No, it you do not want it to say where we're at. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, in case it's turn on the volume. We're in West Kansas. Right? Yeah. On the Yellow Brick Road. We're in Kansas. Wayne Kansas, no more Moises. 
Kansas legal age. Starting. Oh. Ah! Ah! Perfect. I, I don't even have to. I don't even have to do it anymore. You guys got it handled. All right. Perfect. Heading on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> as soon as you fucking hit heading. Screen. All right. Here we go. Moises, peep this, peep this song. Wait, hold on. I think Moises could win. Moises could win. didn't talk. If he didn't talk the whole time, yeah. All right, peep, peep this. <laughs> That's you? Yeah. Oh, it gets better. We got two verses. Let's get started, baby. This is his song. You can bet that on the chips and the dips and the sauces. I am the white mambo. I'm, I'm, I'm like a straight shot of vodka. You want to do the samba? Cookie with your line. That's fine. Now you can even call me Lolo. What do you think about this? I fucking did it. Did you mix it? Like, did you mix it? Did you mix it everything? Yeah. Oh, shit. That better or worse than Gary? See, Gary just mixes in. I, w I would say the mixing on this is real good. So I can't, I can't really, like, Gary does real good mixing. But Gary doesn't rap. So you mixed it, you rapped on it. I, I'm gonna be real. I think Gary has got competition here. I think Lunar's better. Off of one song? God damn, bitch. <laughs> haven't, haven't, you, haven't you heard like 10 of Gary's songs? It's always about your latest song, right? Yo. It's always about what you're doing today. And I, I heard his other songs too. Yeah. I mean, this is mixed real good. Bars is real good and it's catchy. So, wait, Lunar, why did you quit your teaching job to make rap songs? You quit your job? Uh, yeah. Uh, because you I, know some dude named Mr. Fucking uh, another person said, did the same thing where they quit their teaching career yeah. to be a live streamer. Yeah, I'm up with that. Yeah. They literally quit. They were that didn't work out. Now they he's were, doing live streams bro, from dumpsters. They dude. were full tenured teachers, uh -huh. and then he turned live streamer, and he got two black drops, like tear drops, tattooed on his face. Now. No, it, it was yeah, something like that. <laughs> and now, now he. Money, yeah. more freedom, so I just was like, I'm out. Do you I make? Wanted to be able to curse. Can't curse on YouTube, anything. I was like, I can't get on social media and say what I really want to say. I mean, you follow me. you can curse on YouTube. What do you mean? I, I mean, know, no, being a teacher, teacher that he got was spoke weed and yes. f words. I yeah. can't say shig shiggity wig wiggity biggity bet yeah. that and shit like that. You can fucking bet that. I can't say that in a song and be like, hey kids, uh, get your book. Dude, done. I used to play Call of Duty with a math teacher. He was funny. Yeah, dude. And he like curse. Dude, I had this one teacher who was hot as fuck, and she would come in with like a low cut shirt and like you know be like a little sexy little girl. Bro, I got my middle school teacher fired because she let us feel on her. No! <laughs> what, what do you mean? Wait, what, okay. Tell me the story with okay, that. So I actually got on Reddit and told the story that day. But, okay, so in second grade, I had a student teacher, right? So you have your teacher and a student teacher. It was this chick named Randy Lynn Bratcher. You can look her up. She's been arrested don't, multiple times. Don't say names. Uh, but that, no, it's literally her. <laughs> she's so, in jail. She's in prison right now for what she's doing. So second grade, she's my student teacher. Fast forward to sixth grade. What is a student teacher? Student teacher is a lady that is assistant to the main teacher. So your last semester of college as a teacher, you go apprentice, right? You're, you get mentored by an actual teacher. So let's say Stevie has a class. Oh, I go and just kind of like, I'm like oh, his shadow, the last right? I'm like, oh, Stevie kind of show me the ropes. How do you do classroom and all that cast. sort of shit. You can release the cast. And then sixth okay, grade, I, I will do that. In later. sixth grade, she was my actual homeroom teacher, and then in seventh grade, things got weird. So it was me and my buddy and another guy. And or how old was she? She was like twenty-four. And you were like fifteen. I or was something. like thir no thirteen. I was like I had like hair down to my uh, my fucking shoulders, and it was blonde and frosted and shit. Anyway, she would like let us. <laughs> we would. She would let us push our heads into her tits. Like, no. Zip down the back of her thong and be like, "What are we? Our uh, dress make? What are we wearing today?" Like, I remember one time specifically, I'm sitting in her computer chair with her, squeezing on her ass as hard as I can, and she goes, someone's horny. I'm 13! She's 24, bro! Wait, why did she let you do that? Why would she do this? She was a freak, dude. She would come over to one of my homie's houses, and she would wear, like, a white t-shirt, and we'd throw in the pool and shit. Did you like, fuck her? None of us fucked her. Why? She had a husband They were she, 13. She would, like, let us do everything, but, like, we couldn't finger her. We could, like, grab her boobs. But she didn't, like, no blowjob, none of that shit. None of that shit. I drove her car, though. She let me drive her car when I was 13. Bro, what a fucking freak. So she risked jail time to not even fuck. It gets better, bro. She got fired, right? Went yeah. To another school got fired again. Went to another school, went to prison after that. What the fuck? Same shit. Middle school is every I never time. You know, you know what she got caught? Is my homie made her a hot mail, um, like, 
uh, profile. You know, That's what I'm, I'm saying. Where were all the hot teachers when I was in school? Bro, you had yeah. me and my I buddy. mean, I had some hot teachers too, but they're not freaks. Yeah, I just one hot teacher. She wore a low cut and she was kind of, she was cute. For, she was like 20 or something. And I was like, my, my English teacher. I was trying to fuck, but she said my, no. My English teacher was my, was like had my only pictures on MySpace that no one knew. Oh, yeah. I knew. And she would like, since I was like the, the, the one that always fall asleep, she would like wake me up. And then she would help. She would grab my hand and help me write. Like whoa! And then she would always like come wake me up and shit. You added your teacher on MySpace. I found her. Yeah. You found her on MySpace. Yeah. yeah. That's a little weird. I emailed that same teacher that got <laughs> went to prison when I was dog. eighteen. I hit her up. I was like, hey, hey, what's happening? I'm legal now. And she's like, don't ever email me. <laughs> Wait, when you were eighteen, you emailed your I fucking emailed, teacher. I emailed the teacher that got fired and was like, what's well, good. Bro. Like, where is it at? Actually, I kind of want to, bro. <laughs> I kind of want to find that old hot teacher that I, that used to be my fucking teacher. I want to see what she's looking like nowadays. Dude, the chick that got fired when I was in middle school, she's fucking beat now, bro. Beat. Well, you said she's in prison. Oh, she's in prison, yeah. Well, yeah, that's why she's beat. Yeah. They, they don't look good after a couple years in prison, dude. Yeah, it's pretty bad, man. Because they, they end up, you know, fucking uh, other girls now. Yeah, probably. Putting Kool-Aid on their eyes and lips. That's crazy. No, but that's that's crazy. Oh wait, what? Uh, that's just one of them too. I just I can't believe this shit, bro. Like when I was in school, my school, my, my school life was shit. I had one cool teacher though. His uh, I forgot his name, but he was my uh, my self-contained teacher. So I had him all day. Um, I was in one classroom all day, and he was my teacher. Dude, we used to smoke fucking weed together after so school. So you were in special ed. I was in self-contained. Say, what the fuck is that? You should be in a No, he was in special ed. He rode the short bus. I did ride a short bus. <laughs> That's only because my, the school that I went to. The, the route that it took, it was the only route to my house. No, it was. So the school that I went to was out of the jurisdiction of where my house was. <laughs> this is where it is. Are you sure this is the place? It looks like we're gonna like it looks like we're gonna like we're coming to a fucking setup. Keep going straight. It, like we're literally, literally, it says it's in it here, says, bro. It says. Uh, did you say over there? It literally <laughs> looks like we're gonna get fucking set up, bro. It says it's here. What the fuck? Where did you take us? It looks like we're gonna get set up. Bro. Why are all the hookah lounges in Austin fucking so sketchy? Camp. I think it says this. Oh no way! I can't go down to here. Bro. It says this is the place, bro. Yo, let's go. Go drive to in front of the door. Let's look inside. It's you on just, the other side, you think? Did you just type in hookah and you're like, ah, this looks No, nice. I, thought, I thought this was the one that I always go to. I don't know the name of it because I keep forgetting, but I thought this was the one. Right, the best, so you... what the yeah, it looks like it might not be down here at all. Man, this is crazy. This can't be. It has to this be in a plaza, like, across the way, so this can't be it, dude. Is it over there? Is that it? Does that look familiar? That looks like maybe a hookah. Uh, oh, that looks like a titty shop or some shit. That's a, a titty no, shop. No, that's a nightclub. Putas! <laughs> So let's uh So left right where are we going? Bro, fuck No, it. okay, look, it's Get on the, the map o- again. It's on the uh, it's on the other side. Bro, my, my man, we were just there. No, take a take a right and then go take another right. What are you it says it's on the other side. Yeah, it's right here. What? It's right I think where those cars are, I think. What? I would assume. That does not look like a fucking book. You sure it's open on something? You sure that's it? No, I'm not sure. Ice Poseidon just it posted don't look a new like video that's okay. I'm going to a one-star hookie shop in my town. Okay, dude. No, dude. Alright, let me see the phone. Yeah, bro, it says it's in the same area. I looked it up, too. <laughs> we lost. Yeah, I'm is, that, is that you? When you play football? I don't want to get fucking murdered. <laughs> I mean, I guess. I mean, this is a plaza. <laughs> that dude looks like that fucking actor from fucking Hot Fury, right? Oh my like God. hot rod or something. Right. There's, I, there's <laughs> one place that I always go to. I don't remember what it's called though. People say I look like Jack Black, and then for like the longest time in school, I was Sam Jack Black's son, and people would literally like get shocked. Dude, I'm Jack Black's son. No way. I would just say that. I'll be my excuse. No way. Bro, where the fuck are we? we go, look, looks we're going to a fucking this like. Is wild. Like. I'm having Seward, Alaska PTSD I'm having Seward, Alaska PTSD level. No, dude, you're for good. Um, Don't worry, ain't nothing gonna happen as long as I'm here. I was about to say, we got Stevie. I always keep that thing on me. We're fucking straight. Okay, no. I always keep that thing on Stay me. Stay strapped like the Navy. Stay strapped <laughs> like a seatbelt. Stay strapped like a strap on No, me. what I mean about these guns right here. Oh, shit. But, you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the little whistle, dude. Where the fuck is it?
Make sure uh, you're not in uh, Uganda. What? <laughs> it says it's on DOS. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, that's the one. But it's like this is not. I think it's a, a fake one. I think it's a front. You're getting your map is getting spoofed, right? <laughs> it's, I'm trying to look for the. It's the only one not in downtown Austin. It's literally the only one not in downtown. And I'm trying to find it, but it's not showing up on the fucking map for some reason. Let's see. I keep here. the pump in my whip Google. like Kim Gas and Up CX. Like don't Hell don't yeah. what kind of, is that a fucking line? Alright. Oh I think it's this one right here. Keep maybe. Pump, no, pump that's it. in That's a Ramesh. shot. No. Bro, it's it's literally saying it's right here too. Like I'm looking on the maps and No, it's this one. This is the one. Yeah, th this is the one. Uh, all right, it's uh, here's the is this one. Is their warehouse or some shit? Maybe. I don't know, dude. <laughs> they Let's... probably sell hookahs. <laughs> right, right. They might sell hookahs. Yeah, they manufacture the it's fucking a hookah main distributor. warehouse, yeah. not a hookah lounge. <laughs> No, I found it. Um, I just had to look on Google instead of Apple Maps. Yeah, this is where their who corporate the uses, office is. Who uses right Apple Maps? <laughs> right there, dude. All right, we're not going to die. Don't worry. All right, good. There you go, Moises, I believe. Because I don't want to have to go... Apple back. products, dude. I don't got to have to go... He's fine, this motherfucker. Dude, he, he's always got the heater on it's full, full blast. It's a defrost. Defrost. Is, that, is that or die? What do you mean? <laughs> the fucking defrost. He's gotta have the default. No, I don't have the heat. I have the. You see how it's falling down, bro. We, they, there's no. It's gone, dude. There's no more default. Bro, last night when I was driving, I couldn't even see like at all. That's brutal. <laughs> Alrighty, so yeah, back uh, to the story. I smoked weed with that one teacher in my behavioral classroom. It was a. It wasn't special ed. It was a behavioral classroom because I was a misbehaved so child. Ed. Yeah. I smoked weed with him after after school. I knew where he lived. We went to his apartment and smoked fucking weed. Wait, 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 wait. This is after you were 18 or bef before? No, I was like 16. I drove to his house. This is highly illegal and borderline pedophilia. My, my How is it pedophilia? No, he didn't fuck me. I drove to his apartment. We smoked weed and then I left. I, I used to uh, my, my detention teacher, he smoked weed. Okay, and he used you. to buy weed from students, the drug dealers that I was friends with. Okay. And one time he like we, I had detention because like I skipped class some shit. And then I was like, Hey, yo, Mr. D, yo, let me out of class early and I'll Moises get you a mug. Now, <laughs> Face clam are coming up with all the jokes right now. Uh, <laughs> yo, fucking. But the guy I smoked weed with, yeah. he ended up going, uh, getting fired. Uh, yeah, as because he not not for that reason. He got fired for beating the shit out of a kid who was fighting another kid. Uh -huh. So these two kids were fighting. He went to go break it up. The kid hit him, and then he beat the shit out of him. I would do the same shit too yeah, if I was a teacher. Man. I still smoked weed with him as well though. After he got fired, I didn't give a fuck. Yeah, that's trippy. Bro. Dude, if I was a teacher and they fuck, they hit me. I'll hit him back. I'm gonna. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah, I mean I, I don't think he should have got fired. The kid hit him, I mean, and the kid was not. He was like an 18-year-old senior fucking, like, big, muscular motherfucker. Like, he was not a child. Like, dude, beat the fuck out of that kid. Yes, that is okay in my books. I'll just power up and then just lay a haymaker on his cheek and let his fucking jaw fly out. Okay. There you go. I watched a, uh, Stevie's got some pent-up anger. I watched a coach throw a kid through a hey, uh, trophy case. I may time. be big and slow, but fuck, don't let me fucking get in your range, because shit. I believe it. Wait, why did he throw the because kid? They, when they were fighting, and he knew that he couldn't hit the kid, so he literally, and this kid's like pencil skinny, and so he just grabs him and throws him through a trophy Dude. case. Cuts his elbows up, like, glass Stevie's all over the kid. Stevie is the kind of guy who would blow his teacher to get an A-plus on his homework. Hey, true, true. I would, I mean, I don't know, but... True. It's all about blowing a guy, Stevie. I did, I did get... True. <laughs> I did get tackled by one of my teachers in eighth grade. So I was, Why? What so did you do? From eighth grade, from eighth grade all the way to senior in high school, I was in a self-contained classroom. So that means I was in the same classroom for four years straight, except for eighth grade because it was a middle school and then went to high school. But oh, we don't know why it's crazy. I don't get it. But so I had a, one room for four <laughs> fucking years. I was one room, one teacher, four years. So, but my my eighth grade self-contained teacher, she was a girl. She was a woman, and she's French. She spoke French as a first language. <laughs> 
No, I'm not, it's not special ed, dude. It's a behavioral <laughs> classroom where all the bad kids go. Oh, so you were a bad kid. I was a bad kid. I used to fucking... He was an do, AOC. I used to, like, tell teachers to or fuck DMC, off and yeah, shit, and then they put me in the, in the self-contained thing. Yeah, okay. And the self-contained classroom, every classroom that's like that has a holding cell attached to the classroom. That, oh. Where so they, they put you in, they close the door, you hit a button, it's locked. You can't get out. It's, like, padded as well. It's, like, a fucking... Like an insane asylum. Yeah. It's just like a place you put the kids to calm them down. Jesus. So, um, this one time my teacher in eighth grade was, you know, it, so they have this protocol where if you are disrupting the class, they take all the kids out of the class, they put them in the hallway while you are to not give you attention while you're disrupting the entire class, which is like eight kids, so no biggie. So, you know, our education was trash, but... Um, so there was one time I was really pissed off at my fucking teacher for some reason, don't remember why. They brought the kids out. Protocol, they tell you a couple times to fucking knock it off, relax, and then they let all the kids back in. I didn't knock it off. So what my teacher they did was she grabbed my arm, which they're allowed to do this. They're, they're, they're allowed to do this. This is part of the the, pet, the protocol. If Because you can't disrupt the class all day because then they no one gets education. So they, the teacher grabbed my arm. She said, you need to, you know, fucking relax or whatever. You need to cut it, cut it off. And I said, no. She put my arm behind my back, like twisted my fucking arm behind me, and she threw me on the floor, put her fucking knee on my back. And then she's like, you need to knock it off. And I still said no, and then they put my ass in the room. In the, in the padded room and then they let all the kids back in and I was just in the padded room. <laughs> so, because, and that's legal because this is a different, this, this is a different kind of classroom. This isn't a normal classroom. This is, they have different rules in this sort of like, yeah, lock his ass up. in this sort of like uh, environment. This is a environment, this is like a last chance environment. If you get kicked out of this classroom, you get kicked out of school entirely. And, and they put you in the Arkham Asylum type of classroom. Straight up. <laughs> So it's I, I went to like an alternative school. Yeah. It was like not a normal school, so it's not illegal. We had one like that. They called it uh, ALC. It's where all the misbehavioral like the motherfuckers that go to that basically get expelled go. What's that stand for? ALC. Yeah. Something like that. Something like that. Because ours was uh, alternative school. Is what they called it. Or uh, they're not assaulting me. It's or OCS on campus suspension. So for us, you have that's to put ALC kids down in order to control them. ALC. That's basically what he was in. Yeah, and, they, they, and if the kids are bad, they have to they have to put you down. The control district them. that I went to, the type of class or school that you went to, and for my district is ALC. I, I went there for a semester because uh, I brought a knife. Damn. Yeah, and it was a up. pocket knife. I mean, everybody had pocket knives. Right. I graduated high school. No, I, I, dude, I, I actually liked going to that class because, in that school, because uh, that I could buy weed so easily. Yeah, a lot <laughs> of everyone, drug everyone sold weed, bro. All there, the yeah. drug dealers. You know what? To get it back, I got you, bro. Three forty-five. But when I was a senior, when I was a senior, I went to the normal, you know, normal yeah. population. I went to prom. Yeah. I never yeah, went, I went to prom. With a, I went with a group. Because we we, we we rented a limo in a in a little lake house. How am I gonna go to prom? Bro? I was in a classroom all day. How am I gonna meet girls? We, uh, I'm gonna. There, there was one girl in the classroom. She ended up being a prostitute. So I'm like, okay, I don't want her. You couldn't even take her. What? You couldn't even take a prostitute. She would have been like, no, dude, no, you, no, she was like super <laughs> ghetto white girl. I'm not trying to get with her. <laughs> bring her ass to prom, dude. Like, no, not a chance, dude. <laughs> she she she. I was not her type. Let's just put it like that. Um, but I, yeah, prom, nah. I wish I went to prom, but there was just no opportunity for me to do that. My prom was cool. My my teacher was caught kissing a girl. Oh. And like, me and my friends were rented a limo. That's pretty sick. And we got a little lake house. That's super dope. And we had like an after party. And damn. Yeah, that shit. You went to prom? Yeah. Oh, Stevie went to prom and I did it. Damn. Yeah, and I'm oh, fucked years. up, dude. I was. <laughs> yeah, I was. You I went to prom? Dude, yeah, what the fuck? Dude, a, a senior girl asked me my freshman year. Dude, yeah, I got, yeah, I got fuck, groped bro? by girls. I went with a chick with a fucking I got enormous fat ass. ass. <laughs> Yo. I was so drunk. Man, <laughs> shut the fuck? <laughs> I was so drunk and all, everybody was drunk. I got groped. By girls and probably some dudes. I don't even know. Dude, I had the worst high school experience ever, dude. dude. My shit was crazy. It was like a Project X type of But it was fun, though, because I, I knew the same eight kids for four years. Oh. I knew everybody I, I, saw, I saw them... 
I saw them either. Your class had eight kids? Yeah, for four years. And there's yeah, new, new, in the back kids. New kids. Cool. It was always on average eight new kids would come, then some would leave. Some got kicked out, some went to jail, some, yeah. you know, whatever. What you want, everyone bro? everyone was on <laughs> probation went to except one of those for me. Behavioral ones. I had about twenty I had about twenty like classmates, yeah. He went to like permanent detention. Yeah, I went to like a different kind of environment. Like, like instead of him they going used to detention. call it they used to call it focus in in yeah. my school where they take you out the classroom and they put you in just this room where all the kids that did some crazy Yeah, shit. but his was a whole different school. Do spitballs, right? do milk cartons in the cafeteria. I went to a whole different school for a little bit, but then they I went to back to our normal school, but they had the self-contained classroom in the normal school. Oh. Away from it. It was in a trailer away from the school. A trailer? So, it, okay, think of the school with all the normal buildings, and then there's a fucking trailer in the back of the school. You're that's describing where I a scene from Scary Movie, you fucking liar. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're describing a scene from scary movies. Right. There's a trailer in front of the school. What? No. You're describing a scene from scary movies. All right, look at my my vods when I went to Florida and I went to my school, uh, and you'll see the trailer. I mean, I literally streamed it. All right, maybe maybe the setting in the scary movie movie you was can't in Florida. Don't, don't say exposed. Look at my fucking Florida vod on YouTube where I <laughs> live streamed the fucking trailer. So you guys know the scene I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Stifler, um, Stifler hops out the fucking trailer. Okay, that's He's American Pie. Yeah. I don't you know. you took the scene from American Pie. I've never even seen American Pie. No, you said Scream, scary movie. Now you said American yeah, Pie. Yeah, I got the movies mixed up, but the premise of the so argument are you lying is the truth. It's American Pie. Dude. Stifler hops out the fucking trailer. He's in front of his school. Do you know why my school had a trailer? Because it was under construction for like half the year. Like half of the four years. So they had a bunch of trailers, but mine was just in a more isolated area. All right, maybe maybe American Pie was like the setting was shot in a Florida setting. I think that's I don't know. I think it has to be that. I think trailers at schools are very normal. It has to be a Florida. My school thing. had a trailer too. I've never seen like, that in my life. It was like physics that's class. Or like, For real? Trailers too. In front oh, of the school? Like eco class. Yeah. Oh, shit. My school had trailers too. Yeah. Oh, shit. Not in front, but like as a side in the back. Yeah, this is normal. Oh, this shit. All right. Over, it's, like, it's normal here. Yeah. New England, New York. Yeah, y'all don't, y'all don't no, have, those are different. Those are like temples. Like, y'all don't have, y'all don't have any. You guys don't have enough property. Yeah, yeah Rhode Island is small. Oh, Florida's right. got plenty of fucking right, land. Yeah. That shit to me is crazy. Like my school was like four or five acres. What the fuck, Because they had two football fields Houston, and bro. a baseball field. No, science tells me you're a Scientologist, Stevie. <laughs> <laughs> you think you went to school, but you were in a church. Basically. No, no Houston, dude, it's, it's huge. Everything's big. All right, so that, all right, that's how... But that, that's, I, I told you I went to uh, the fucking autism camp. Yeah. Right? No, I don't know if you told me that. Yeah, for a year, I went to, uh, to school in the woods. Yeah, there's a picture of him and his friends. It was called Eckerd Learning Academy. It's, so I actually got kicked out of the alternative school for being for telling my teacher that if he doesn't get out of my face, I will punch him. Because yeah, he was yeah. in my face. Yeah, and, you can't do that. And he was going to grab me. And, you know, because the protocol, they grab you, they put you on the floor. Right, right. I'm, I'm like, dude, I don't want you fucking grab me. The you know, get, I'm like, get the fuck out of my face. The protocol is that they grab you and put you and, on the floor. But that was like, but they. What the so fuck? I, Welcome to the South, baby. But that, that wasn't the. crazy. That wasn't the only reason. And there's other reasons too. Don't really want to talk about it. But, um, it was stupid. But yeah, so I went to this camp for like four months of the year. And I had to finish, like, the program, and after four months, I finished and went back to normal school. Well, that shit happens in New York or something. You get a 100K paycheck. What? And that teacher's getting fired. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you yeah. talking about? You get slammed by a teacher. <laughs> if you get slammed by a teacher and you didn't touch him or do anything, bro, oh, you get a 100K and you own half that school. All right, think about it like this. I mean, this is Florida, but think about it like this, Moises. You're in a school full of bad kids. One of the kids is acting badly and disrupting everyone else's education. Oh, true. How do you, how do you control this kid so other kids can get education? Me personally, obviously, I'm beating the fucking shnikes out of him, but I'm not a teacher. Yeah. I, I, I'm a fellow classmate. I'm beating the shnikes out of him. Yeah, but these teachers have like they go through training to like restrain the kids that yeah, are bad. That's probably that has to be a flaw. When you're thing. in an alternative school, those teachers have different. Oh no, time. yeah, no, that's they different. Oh no, t- I'm talking about regular yeah, school. Yeah, because alternative yeah, school, school the obviously, parents yeah. have to sign forms yeah. saying that this school. Well, have, right. have the program yeah. to do certain stuff. All right, all right, yeah. So you could, if, so, if it's that school, I, so I they understand. can't be sued because Ooh. they the parents Thank signed. You, <laughs> Yo, but uh, motherfucking um, yeah. So I, I gotta, bro. I have so many. I, I, I wish I had video, but they I have so many stories of the fucking autism camp. I ran away a few times 
and every time I ran away, they had a helicopter and like a hundred billion cops chasing me. Dude. Man. I literally ran from the police and did not get arrested because I was classified <laughs> as, you know, well, I, I minor. No, I was classified as a minor that was in this program, yeah. and they wanted to help us, so they didn't arrest us. So I could do anything and not get arrested, essentially, right. besides murder. They'll just take you. They'll just take you back, and yeah, they just take you back. Yeah. So if you ran away a couple times, I think maybe you ran away like four or five times, they put you in a higher level program. Yeah. I was in a level three, so there was no gates or anything, no fucking fences. It was just in the middle of the woods. Right. Uh, so I ran away a, a couple times, and they have like a fucking thermal helicopter looking for you, and I'm in, I'm like hiding in the middle of the woods, and it's like cold. It was just ridiculous. Dude, what's your end game? What the this, fuck? this one time I walked four hours to get to the nearest town. What I got, the fuck? You walked I walked for four hours. Four hours on the side of the highway to get to the nearest town after I ran away with, with a hammer. Yo, why is this hookah lounge in a residential <laughs> family area? Uh, it's weird, right? What the here. fuck, bro? Okay, I've been here. It's right down here. But this uh, just a family neighborhood. Yeah, it is. I got to the donut shop, ironically, which is the first thing you see when you enter the city mm -hmm. of uh, Brooksville, Florida. And uh, as soon, uh, there was a cop at the fucking donut shop. And he was waiting. Yeah, he just waited because that was the entrance to the city. So they were just waiting. Right. Until I showed up. They saw me. They picked me up after four hours of walking. 20-minute drive back. I'm yeah. back in. <laughs> I'm just like, damn, son. That's fucked up. I'm not exaggerating. Like, a hundred... I swear to God. Donut shop at all. I swear to God. You can fucking fact check me, Brooksville, Florida, Google Maps, Eckerd Learning Academy, a fucking donut shop. Net. There's there's a train track in front of the donut shop. Google fucking map me, okay? I swear to God. That's insane, bro. I never ran away. Did you run away from home? Yeah, I ran away from home twice. Damn. One time, it, I was hiding in the bushes, and I just went back home. Second time, my parents called the police. The police brought me back idea? to my house. and I, it, yeah. I never did that. It was a waste of time, a waste right, of XP, because I was busy grinding. Oh, this is a small spot. That's no. why. That's why you meant there was gonna yeah, be no right. fucking chicks here. I got a bed here. I got food. It's this good. is it's a, a fucking studio apartment. Uh, in LA. It's a good spot though. But uh, yeah, chat. I had, a, I had a rough time growing up, chat. My parents were very nice to me, but I was just a, I was just a bad kid. I don't know. I, I didn't. I don't know. I had, I had issues. I had real issues growing up, like, like emotional problems. Like, I couldn't control my emotions and stuff, and I just acted out poorly for attention, and because I couldn't control myself. <laughs> but I was also on a cocktail of medications that did not help me, SSRIs and all this dog shit. What do they have? Better horsepower? Better Did they teach you to count potato in your special class? Potato in your special class? Don't know what that means. We did not count to potato, but thank you. Yeah, it was the medications that messed me up, dude, honestly. Because now I'm not on I'm fine. How you doing? Um, can we get a hookah? What, what are you guys trying to... Uh, should we... We probably get, should get something pretty fruity. Um, What's the fruitiest you got besides me? I mean... Some, some... What? Only fruit. No mint. No mint, yeah. Let's do... Uh, cool. We can do sex on the beach. Let's this do is, sex on the beach. This is like a nice low key yeah, spot. Uh, just a, you have a four house they usually have a, a pool here. I don't know where the pool is. This, this hookah vibe feels way different. Yeah. This feels like this is like nice, chill. Can I believe you have one idea? Oh, yeah. Well, this is like a small, like, little area. Those are all the people that ran away. That they fucking look they, at this. They, they, they fucking they they because you pay no, after, so no, they that, smoked a hookah and then they ran off, but they leave their ID. It's stupid. Yeah, it's really smart. <laughs> what is smart? Leaving your fucking. No, it's probably. I mean, to be fair, it's probably fake IDs. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. So nice. Let's go over here. I mean, we're. I don't know where the, dude. They got rid of the pool table. Oh yes. I don't like they got rid of the pool table. Yeah. yeah I think this is the hit though. This is the lit. Yeah, right here. this is right here. Fantastic. <laughs> Four dudes at the at the hookah lounge with this little uh, area. This is a nice Arabian. Because yeah. the difference between L.A. and here is okay. This one's an Arabian, like real, like this is a real sh like hookah shit, dude. Bro, you could bring your own liquor. Yeah, I do, Abby. This is like real Arabian hookah. Okay, in LA it's like white people hookah. Yeah. Does that make sense? And you rarely see bring your own liquor. Well, they yeah, because they serve like pizza and shit here, but they, you know, if you bring your own liquor, you stay longer and shit, and they get don't you know free. 
Gated community. All white neighborhood. Gated community. Parents made good money. Parents gave me allowance. I grew up in a terrible neighborhood at Gated Community. Gated community. All white neighborhood. Parents made good money. Parents gave me allowance. I grew up in a terrible neighborhood at Gated Community. Gated community. All white neighborhood. Parents made good money. Parents gave me allowance. I grew up in a terrible neighborhood at Gated Community. Gated community. All white neighborhood. Parents made good money. Parents gave me allowance. I grew up in a terrible neighborhood at Gated Community. Gated community. All white neighborhood. Parents made good money. Parents gave me allowance. I grew up in a terrible neighborhood at Gated Community. Gated community. All white neighborhood. Parents made good money. Parents gave me allowance. I grew up in a terrible neighborhood at Gated Community. Gated community. All white neighborhood. Parents made good money. Parents gave me allowance. I grew up in a terrible neighborhood at Gated Community. Gated community. All white neighborhood. Parents made good money. Parents gave me allowance. I grew up in a terrible neighborhood at Gated Community. Gated community. All white neighborhood. Parents made good You grew up in a gated it's like, it's I, gr- I grew up in a very posh environment. It's like gangster rappers rapping that they've been in the streets and all that shit, but then in reality, they lived in the gated community. In LA. And shit. <laughs> I grew up in a posh environment, <laughs> but I had emotional problems. It doesn't matter where you grow up, I had issues. So, I mean, you know, think about like who. I'm trying to think of like a, like a fucking famous person. Who grew up really like well off, and then they're fucking scuffed. Aaron Carter. <laughs> Aaron Carter is the definition. Of Aaron Carter. To be fair, he grew up in Los Angeles, though. That's the devil's fucking land, dude. You, I mean, you grew up in LA, you're gonna end I mean, up scuffed. 100%. I mean, you know, DiCaprio, born and raised in LA. He's the only one that fucking made it out. Well, uh, from a kid actor to an adult actor, yeah. I never said that. I never said that. Out of Los Angeles, oh, damn. and born and raised, and the guy fucking made it. He broke the cycle. Right. The, the people who I think I broke the cycle. I'm the only kid in my I mean, class only, who's not in jail right now. I mean, you're only twenty. Really? I looked them all up on Facebook. I'm the only one not in, on probation or jail. But you're only twenty five, though. What does that mean? The game ain't over yet. Your You're only 25. The this game is the ain't first quarter. This is the decade. first quarter. Leo's probably pushing almost 60. Who? Leonardo DiCaprio. He's he, not 60, bro. That dude's like 45. You think he's 45? I, I haven't wiki the dude in a while. I'm gonna be real, real. Let me see. What do you mean? That dude. Chat. Leonardo is not fucking 60, dude. How old is Leonardo DiCaprio? I do have community service, though. But I, it, it's oh, because no, you, you, you were more right. He's 45. Exactly, he's 45. Exactly right. Yeah. And I keep up with my oh, shit. Uh, I snuck into a convention inside of a Trojan horse. Place oh. of birth, Hollywood. Wait, just like bro on Monty Python, the Holy Grail. Yeah, I went inside of a Trojan horse, and <laughs> they, they the and we we offered it to the convention staff. They took it in because they thought it was a prop. And then you were in it. And I was in it, and then they opened it, and I was inside of it. It's on YouTube. I streamed it, which was the, the that's viewers, how they found out. Oh, the viewers okay. snitched on them. But there was people sneaking. Yeah, somebody one of the viewers. Uh, Eighty hours. That's not bad. You can crank that out in two. Years. I think you already beat. You already. Well, no, it, right? I, it's bullshit because I shouldn't have got any charges. Right. So, but oh, okay. Hold on. Let me turn this back on.